Hey everyone, happy Monday. It's Christy Schultz coming to you from my kitchen. It smells amazing in here, We're making a new recipe. But I wanted to show you guys all the new and holy moly is there a lot. So, super excited. I have things beeping, uh, but I wanted to go through everything with you and let you know what's coming and the specials that start tomorrow because they're awesome. So first of all, I have to just start with this because I'm, I'm pretty excited actually. So this is our brand new catalog and there is a new product on there, which I'm going to talk about later, but okay. Let's see if I can zoom you in. Oh, yep, right there at the top. Let's see if I can get the glare to go away. Right there. There it is. Sorry, it's my family. I'm pretty excited. Never been in the catalog before in 22 years. So that was kind of a cool thing to be to be asked to do that. So anyway, and the catalog has some fun new ideas and recipes in it. All right, so first off, let me just start with, I don't even know where to begin. Um, let me start with these. Okay. Nope, I'm going to start with these. <laughs> I have so much here. Okay, I'm going to start with, we have a ton of new pantry. Okay, let me pull them back here and get this in. So these are two new oils. If you have any of our pantry oils, or our balsamic vinegar that we've had. These are amazing. So this one is basil infused, and this one is Parmesan garlic infused. And I'm just gonna turn it over. Can you guys see all of this yummy goodness? So before you use this, <clears throat> you're gonna shake it up. I could shake it even more. And oh my gosh, look at that. So with bread, oh, French bread, Yum, 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 yum. Uh, making salad dressings with this basil infused is gonna be so good. So can't wait to use to, to use these. Uh, haven't even had a chance to open them. And then <clears throat> I am actually gonna show you a non-pantry item next because you can use them with the basil. So I'm always gonna forget how to say this. This is the, totally gonna forget it, the oil and vinegar dispenser. Okay, so I, when I saw this, I was so excited because I don't know about you guys, but um, measuring oil, a tablespoon of oil, I mean, half the time I just eyeball it, but and I will definitely be getting another one of these for vinegar. So you're gonna put your oil on the bottom and then I doubt you're gonna be able to see this, but I'm gonna zoom in right here. There's measure markings, and all you do, I'm gonna come this way, you're gonna squeeze this. Oh, is it gonna do it? Let's see, oh, oh, it's not gonna do it up for me now. I don't think I put enough oil in, but of course, live TV. Uh, you're, when you squeeze on it, it's going to fill up, and so this has milliliters and teaspoons on it. So you can do three teaspoons when you need to measure. So love that. So basically a tablespoon. So I have to figure out why mine isn't working. I literally just pulled this out of the box. So excuse me as I have live television happening here, but I'm, I know I've seen this happen, this work, and I'm super excited. And then you can totally clean this out like this comes off. So I suspect I didn't put something in right. It's okay. Live TV. I'll show it, show it to you guys again. So I'm going to put that off to the side. Let me move these out of the way. By the way, today was hat day at school, so I had to wear my Pamper Chef hat. Okay, other pantry items. So our chili and uh, our chili mix and our um, chicken parmesan mix were super big hits this last season. So now we have a pad tie set. So you get three of the mixes. And again, all of your directions are on the back. <coughs> Excuse me, my allergies are so bad today. Um, so it is, let's see, it shows you how to make chicken pad thai. Again, just pull these out of the box. 
Um, so you're going to add in a little soy sauce. You've got chicken tenders, salt and pepper, rice noodles. You can add eggs to this if you want to. Bell pepper, lime wedges, cilantro, and peanuts if you want. But the nice thing about this is that the nuts are not in the mix. So if you do have somebody that has a nut or an egg allergy, they're left out. So pad thai, and you could do this with shrimp as well. Super excited about that. And then also a set of three scampi mixes. So let me zoom in on my scampi, okay? So then on the back of this, it's gonna again tell you how to do chicken scampi, but you can do it with shrimp as well. So love those, so fun to get something a little different um, in our kitchen. And that's like so easy to make. If they're anything like the chili and the chicken Parmesan, they're gonna be super, super easy. All right, so also can't wait to try this one. I almost made it tonight uh, before this video, but then I thought, no, I'll show this. So we have our pancake and waffle mix, which I love. We have our donut mix, which I love. We have our brownie mix, which we really, really love, love. Um, we have our bread mixes, our beer bread, our pizza dough. Now we have dolce de leche cake mix. So I am really excited to try this. And it talks about doing this in a nine by 13 or nine by nine or eight by eight. So um, all the directions are there. Super easy. It looks like you're just gonna mix the mix, some butter, some oil, eggs, and milk. So super easy. And you can make it in, pull it out, and hopefully I won't have everything slide on before, our new nine by 13 pan with the lid. So as I'm going through this, I want you guys to pop on and make sure you comment below what are you excited about. Um, so the thing that I'm excited about with this, we've had other 9x13s. We have a 9 by 13 stone, which I love. But these pans, if you have not tried this bakeware, we've got um, the donut pan, we have the donut hole pan, we have... Um, the fluted pan, we have so many, the mini loaf pan, so many pans in this style. And this, I don't know what this is because it's not Teflon. I'm sure I could, I know I could look it up, but I always forget what it is. Uh, but it, nothing sticks to this, nothing. And then you get the lid that just snaps on. And the thing that I really like about this lid is that <clears throat> if I can snap it on. Man, am I having some issues on this live, but that's okay. Uh, the thing that I like about this lid though is that it's domed. So you can see there. Um, so I'm going to, there we go. I'm going to use this for cupcakes too because you can put your toppings on top and you can line your cupcakes in here and they're not going to get smushed. So loving that. Okay. Also, let me put this out of the way. Oh, here's the other one. Okay, also, in our bakeware, I've already used this. This was the first thing that I had to use. So, we have this set of two pans. Okay, they're both the same. And then, so there are these little scalloped pans. Super cute, right? Again, same kind of um finish as the other ones that we have so when i did this i did brush this with some oil uh, but the cakes literally fell right out of this pan okay so here's the magic so you can choose in one of the pans you're either going to choose this insert to go in the middle and it just rests in here or, and you, again, you can do it in either pan because they're exactly the same, but you won't use both. Or you'll put this insert in. And what these do, this one 
is going to create a secret center for the whole cake. So you can fill that center once it's done baking. You can fill it with whipped cream or frosting or candy or sprinkles or fruit or peanut butter or whatever you want. Or this one, which is the one that I used, creates a little secret center for every single slice. So I did sprinkles inside and my son was the first one to take a bite. So when I cut the pieces, I made sure to cut them right here between the scallops. So he didn't know this was here and he took a bite and he was like, oh, what? There's sprinkles inside. It's like a surprise. So these are really fun. I've seen other people use this just like one pan like this for their cornbread mix. And then they are filling these wells with things like bacon jam or, I mean, you name it, you can do it. So if you guys have ideas for things to, to um, add to the wells of these, I can't wait to hear because I know I have some amazing bakers in this group. So I cannot wait to hear your ideas on that. Love the secret cake pan. All right, and then let's see, I'm gonna pull these next. So, <clears throat> I don't know about you guys, but we are always in need of storage containers, like all the time. So I love our glass storage containers, but these are kind of cool because these lids, so they snap on like this, you get a set of, it's a set of two, the lids snap on. Goodness gracious, am I having trouble today or what? There we go. But the cool thing about this lid is that you've got this texture here, that goes down and then this is a cutting board. So you could put your fruit in here <clears throat> and then you pull the, the lid off and you can cut your fruit up. So you could use this. I think what that would be really fun with this is like for a picnic and making your own little charcuterie box, so to speak. So you could put all of your things in here and then use this to cut and serve from too. So, and I just love the fact that it's more storage containers and these are dishwasher safe. So love those. All right. I did show you guys this already in a little sneak peek. I love the fact that these handles, I've had people ask me before with our other stainless colanders, um, if the handles get hot and they don't, but I know that this is going to make people really happy that this top part is not metal so it's not going to get hot you've got the little ring around the bottom so it's going to stay <clears throat> let me zoom in there so it's going to stay up off of your um the floor of your sink so that you're not going to have your pasta or something sitting in um whatever you were just draining out and of course these are so fun too because there are little happy spoons Okay, so this is a five quart, so you can do a lot of pasta or a lot of vegetables in these. So looking forward to using that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the um, pasta recipe that I posted in this recipe group the other day when I showed that. And if you are watching this on YouTube and you haven't joined my uh, recipe group, check in the description of this video and join our group. We've got lots of recipes all the time. Okay, another one that I'm so, this, I have to say, I don't know, I, I can't even say it's my favorite because I have so many. Um, so this one's already got something in it. It's got cheese. But <clears throat> here, let me tell the story first. So these are some silicone reusable bags, all right? Now, I know there's reusable bags out on the market, but I will tell you, I almost bought a set last year i was really looking into it i saw an ad for it and i thought okay i almost pulled the, the trigger on on buying it but i didn't for two reasons one a lot of the reviews were talking about how they were not leak proof and two they looked really hard to clean and the on the description of it it didn't look like they were easy to clean at all these both of those things not an issue. So I happened to, I have now already cooked in this because you can cook in these because they're silicone. So I had five pork chops in here. <clears throat> and then I wanted to rinse out all of the 
pork chop juice and everything after it was done. And I thought, well, let me just see if this will hold the liquid. So I zipped it up and this was full, full to, I had water up to here. Turned it over, nothing came out. The other thing that I really like about these is that you can, in fact, the directions recommend doing this. You can completely turn these inside out where other ones that I've seen on the market have said, don't do that because you'll ruin the seams, but we actually want you to do it. So it's easier to clean these. I just put them in the top rack of the dishwasher and completely turn them inside out and they're good to go. So you can buy them individually or you can get them in the set. And believe me, I will be getting more of these. So this is, you get the large bag in the set. <clears throat> you get the medium bag, <clears throat> excuse me. And this has cheese in it. So love that. Cause you know me, I like to buy my blocks of cheese. Then you have the same size bag as this one, but it has a seam on two sides for your sandwiches. Cause if you had a big old sandwich, trying to get it into this opening would be somewhat difficult. So we've taken care of that for you. And we have this one where the seams open up on two sides. So my husband's already been using this cause he likes sandwiches. I'm not as big of a sandwich person as he is, but love those, okay? I just, and I also really like they're easy to close. So even kids could close these up. Sometimes my kids have trouble, especially my younger one, with the Ziploc. They don't have to worry about this. <coughs> and then we've got the little snack size, okay? So if you are trying to reduce and reuse, these are a definite um, option. You can also put these in the microwave. So love these. I was so, so, so excited about these. I'm going to leave this out because I need to put it back in the fridge with my mozzarella. Okay, next up. Let me see. I'm just going to start pulling things. Okay. This one, we have had an egg separator in the past, but in fact, we had it for a really long time. I may even still have it. I used to, I might have gotten rid of it. Uh, but it was great over a big bowl, but if you wanted to do this over a prep bowl, then it was kind of like the handle was too long and it wouldn't sit in there. Right? So we haven't had it for a while and I was sad because sometimes I can separate an egg and sometimes I can't. Now we have a nice little silicone handle on this side and this side, I'm gonna zoom in so you can see, this side will open. So if you need to do an egg over a big bowl, if you're making a cake mix or something, you can do that here or it snaps back in for a prep bowl. So awesome. Okay, one thing I don't have out we have a new spider strainer. So if you're not sure what a spider strainer is, it is, it's called a spider because it looks like a spider web. So it's a big uh, strainer and it is not a fine mesh strainer. It is really meant for pulling like dumplings out um, so that it's a gentle way to pull things out. Or if you're frying foods, it's a really good way to pull fried foods out of the oil because it's going to allow all the excess oil to drain off really quickly. So we have the spider. Then we have, let me move this, of course, a brand new Seasons Best because we love our Seasons Best. Okay. So I am making, let me get in here. I am making the pressure cooker barbacoa burrito bowl with cilantro lime rice except that i somehow didn't get cilantro i don't know what i was thinking or maybe we used it up i don't know but let me tell you it smells amazing in here um but you have everything from your appetizers um we've got Polenta fries with creamy pesto. We have pressure cooker beet, uh, beet salad. We have fried pickle dip. So if some of you like pickles, then that's gonna be for you. Look at those polenta fries. Can you see those? Oh, so yummy. I'm making myself hungry. 
as usual. There's that fried pickle dip. And then let me tell you, there is a recipe back here. Oh, this, I can't wait to try this. Tomato basil tart with whipped mozzarella. Mm. Anything that says whipped sounds good to me. Uh, peach bread pudding. Yes, please. So believe me, I will be showing you guys a lot of these recipes. So new season's best. And then I haven't taken this out of the box because it's going to go to one of my hosts in March. So if you want this, you need to host a party in March. I make it really easy. Those of you who have posted with me, let everyone know. Okay, so our cookware, super popular, and everybody loves their stainless nonstick. So now we have an eight and a half inch stainless, I'm gonna keep it in the plastic so it's brand new for one of you. Stainless non-stick skillet with the lid. Oh my goodness. So if you are not familiar with these, this has both the properties of stainless and the properties of non-stick. So you can sear really well. You could fry in this if you wanted to, uh, but it has a non-stick webbing throughout the pan that is going to help with keeping things non-stick. Plus, it is metal utensil safe, it is dishwasher safe, and it has a lifetime guarantee. So, cool All right, so somebody's gonna get that. I know I totally did not put that away correctly. Maybe I can do that. All right, then, now, we've had the deluxe quick cooker, not deluxe, the quick cooker for a number of years now. I know lots of you have it. You know how I love it. Well, just like with our cell phones, our cell phones get upgraded, right? And so does the quick cooker. So behind me here, I have the deluxe multi Cooker. I'm going to zoom in back there. All right, so it is keeping warm now. So let me tell you what is new about it and what is the same. So first of all, um, it has some new features to it. So it still has a custom, it still has a sear, but the sear now, you can adjust the temperature from high to medium to low, which I love. Because sometimes on the old quick cooker, that sear was just at a high and it was too high. So now you get to adjust the time. We now have an egg setting. We have our same, this is the same, poultry, beef, pork, seafood, rice. What we did was we took out the brown rice, which at first I was sad about because that's what I mostly make. But we put in whole grains and that's the same temperature setting. I know this is far away. I promise I'll do an up close. We still have soup. We still have beans. We still have dessert. We still have steam. We still have slow cook, but now, again, another thing I'm super excited about, you can slow cook with this lid or with the glass lid that worked on the quick cooker. Um, and this lid will, auto vent about every five minutes while you slow cook. And even better, the old quick cooker only had a high slow cook, which for you guys who've known me for a while does not work with my lifestyle. I work about 40 minutes away and I'm a teacher, so I have long hours. Uh, and so I could not do like four hours on high. It just doesn't work. I need as uh, low and slow as I can get. So now this has a low slow cooker setting. So yay, so excited. Okay, then it has a new thing called sous vide, which is not new. It's been around for a while, but it's new to us. And this is where you're gonna want these bags. 
You can use Ziploc bags, you can use vacuum seal bags, um, but this is what I made my pork chops in, in sous vide. And sous vide is under pressure and it creates a very controlled, it is a water uh, bath method of cooking. So you end up with perfectly cooked meat. Now, the sous vide is not for your tougher cuts of meat. It's for a more delicate cut of meat. So your tougher cuts of meat, you definitely want to do pressure cook or slow cook. But the sous vide, holy moly, I cannot wait to show you guys some more. We also have a yogurt setting. Now, you could make yogurt in the quick cooker on the proof setting. And just like with this now being a yogurt setting, you can proof your bread in here as well. And we have a sterilized setting. Now, this has already, I, yeah, it's already been, um, the steam has already released, but I'm just gonna show you another difference. Our steam release is now in the front instead of up on top, so it keeps your hands even further away from the steam. So watch, okay? It sings to you. I personally think it's singing the dreidel game, or the dreidel song, not the dreidel game. Um, and then I just push it to put it back. So the steam is gonna vent to the left, okay? Then, this is under my cabinet, so it's a little bit harder to show, but I wanna show this. It now has a hook on the lid, so your lid sits on the side, and it works on either side, because there's a hook on the other side as well. So, I don't wanna go too much more in depth because I could talk all night, I'm so excited. Um, I've already been playing with this. And for those of you that already have the quick cooker and you're like, well, I have a quick cooker, should I be sad? No, I'm keeping my quick cooker. It's actually working right now because this recipe was supposed to be with white rice and then you cook it all in one in the, the uh, ceramic pot that it comes with. But I didn't have white rice, I had brown. So I am definitely gonna save that and I'm gonna be using it when I need more food made. Um, I'm gonna, I can tag team them both. So, so excited about these. So the last thing I wanted to tell you guys was that in March, my host can pick any item of their choice, one item or set at 60% off. <clears throat> we don't do this all the time. We do it a few months out of the year but this is the time to do it. So if you want this <clears throat> slow cooker, rice cooker, pressure cooker, sous vide, yogurt maker, sterilizer, you, you name it. This is why it's called the deluxe multi-cooker. You can get this at 60% off. So I want you guys to tell me, what are you most excited about? What would you like to have in your kitchen? And if you want to get entered to win that stainless, nonstick, eight and a half inch covered skillet, get on my calendar. I have a few dates left. All right. Again, thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you again soon. Bye. Okay. I can't believe I forgot this. There's something else. So, this was like one of the other things that I was most excited about. So you guys know, I love my coffee. I love my Starbucks. I love the sous vide egg bites that they have at Starbucks, but they are expensive. We have our own now. So this comes with the rack to go down inside of the deluxe multi-cooker. Okay, you can use this on sous vide. I'm pretty sure I need to test it out because I haven't, ha I literally just took it out of the box. Um, I think I can also use it with the egg setting on the pressure cooker. And this piece, not the lid, but this can also fit into the deluxe air fryer. So it is not just for egg bites. You can use this for brownie bites. You can use this for little mini cake bites. So many things. Thank you. Sorry guys, I know this was an, an extra long video, but I couldn't help it. So, the last thing. All right, talk to you again soon. Bye.